All right, Dave Lieber here with Chris Garmersall. We're doing the audio book for Dave Lieber's Watchdog Nation. This is an important part. Here we go, Chris. Watchdog Nation core principle number two. Make the company person on the phone line accountable to you. When you call the phone company, bank, credit card company, or whomever, you often speak to people on the other side of the world who hold 90% of the power. You don't know who they are, and you beg them for your money back. Here's how a citizen of Watchdog Nation changes a 90-10 power balance to 50-50 or even one in your favor. The representative on the phone says, Okay, thank you for verifying your information. How can I make your bank? The rep on the phone says, Okay, thank you for verifying your information. How can I make your day at Bank of USA happy in every way? And then I say, before I tell you my problem, let me ask you a few questions. What's your name? I don't have to tell you because you'll get a reference number at the end. Well, great, but I don't talk to people as numbers. My name is Dave. What's your name? Oh, uh, my name? My name is Elvis. Well, howdy, Elvis. <laughs> For my records, what is your employee ID number? You can trace me through the reference number. Golly, Elvis, you know you know my social security number and you know my unlisted phone number. Please just tell me your ID number. There might be more than one Elvi in your organization. Okay, five seven five nine three four six nine four nine. Okay, okay, repeat that back slowly, Elvis, because I'm going to write that down. So he repeats it back, all the while thinking about how you are going to hold Elvis accountable. Good, thanks Elvis. Now, now where is your call center located? I, I'm not allowed to say. Now why is that, sir? Uh, security. Hey, Elvis, I live in a gated community with security cameras trained on my doors and windows. I understand security, but really, please tell me, what country are you in? So he answers and he makes sure in response you don't ask about the weather or what time it is over there. Don't pull back thinking that you have invaded his privacy I mean, this guy gave you a fake name. So then I say, okay, okay, Elvis, 5759349649 in New Delhi. This is the second time I'm calling to get my refund. So before I go ahead, let me tell you that last month I talked to Sheila in the Philippines. She is 5759346739. Now, she promised to fix this and she didn't. Do you know her? Uh, no, Elvis says. Oh, that's right. You see, I forgot you guys are in different countries. Anyway, she, she promised to fix this and she didn't. So, Elvis, here's what we're going to do. This is the last time I'm calling this number before I take my complaint to the government authority. And I want you to know as a courtesy that I am taping this call for customer quality control. Now, at that point, you'll hear Elvis go, <sighs> a gasp, and then there'll be a long pause. And then he'll say something like, Oh, okay, that's oh, that's okay, Mr. Lieber, or is it pronounced Lieber? Because, see, suddenly he cares. And for you, it's off to the races. You don't have to tape the call. He won't know. But it certainly gets his attention. He knows that you know who he is and where he works and that you are holding him accountable. Later in this book, Watchdog Nation will share more about how to tape these calls. Funny story, man. Thanks. Elvi. <laughs>